Now with a build up happening for chapter 5 season 2 and a crazy titan event that should take place real soon in game, fans are still slightly puzzled on the official start date of the new season. Now we got some real keen info on that for you guys, clearing the air plus some stuff on weapons, new skins and even more map changes too, so stick around here until the end. Now I know fans I don't really mention this a lot, but I should because I try my best to interact with everyone on a daily basis. The discord channel is available guys and you can join it down below by using the link in the description. It's a really chill Discord community fams and by joining as well, you will get a chance to enter in exclusive giveaways that only happens in the Discord. So feel free to do that guys. Also, you know, we are an epic partner. So pop in code of UICG in the item shop. It supports us a ton, 100%, and it's really easy to use. Let's move on. Now for everyone who's concerned, the new event that was announced to happen today has unfortunately been delayed for some people in the community. The official start time was set here by at Hypix on Twitter, basically saying it's 11 a.m. ET slash 4 p.m. UTC. Of course, this was right after an official dev from Fortnite said the creator is awfully small and it's actually gonna grow bigger before something really interesting happens. You guys also need to be careful around the crater as well as there is a kill zone warning in effect uh, thanks to some of the leakers basically saying it will have a radius of 1000 so be careful guys or you will be sent back to the lobby now be warned guys there's some stages that is definitely going to be happening before the hand officially emerges from the ground maybe by the time you're watching this video the hand's already been out but for now it's actually going through those stages. Moving on guys for the crazy build up for the new season, having the season being Greek mythology and also most skins from the battle pass being leaked, some are also concerned about the map changes too for next season. Recently yesterday fams at item shop update, we saw a snapshot of the raptor skin doing a new emote that's now in the item shop and even though the skin is new guys and we'll probably get access to it next season though through the item shop or maybe even the battle pass, the place where it was actually standing in the video while doing the dance doesn't seem like anywhere we know on the map now. Of course, the location is Snoopy Steps, but clearly this place is actually going to be getting some changes next season, hopefully. There are already some stuff that has been announced for next season, guys, and it's not even officially out yet. Right here on screen, you can see this skin, which is known as Odyssey, and she can actually be found as an NPC at the Ruin Reels POI if you want to see how she actually looks in game. This skin is definitely going to be coming with a whole bunch of cool styles, uh, plus from what the info suggests from one of the most trusted leakers, guys, which is Hypex, the skin will be free and it can only be claimed via the rank mode playlist. So the higher the rank, the more styles you unlock. It's actually going to be similar to the rank glider we got some time ago uh, in the past. Now, continuing on the topic of free rewards, guys, another skin also is going to be free for next season as well. That's if they don't change anything. And that's this variant of the Bright Bomber. I believe this was said to be the starter pack for the Lego mode next season but uh, somehow it might be a free skin as well. I'm not really sure to be honest. We simply just have to wait and see guys, honestly. But enough about cosmetics for a second guys. Weapons that's gonna be playing a major part in chapter five season two. Hypex actually has confirmed this in a tweet that the DMR and also the TAC shotgun are gonna be returning, but with different specs. First for the DMR guys, he said the upcoming DMR, uh, the Fortnite are currently playtesting a DMR with decent looking stats could slightly change. So the damage is 58, 61, 64, 67, and also 70. This basically uh, depending on the uh, rarity, I believe, which is actually crazy. And the, the build's damage is roughly around the same thing. And it has the headshot damage, which I think it actually is going to be like multiplying, which is crazy. Also based on the rarity as well. The reload time is 2.8 seconds uh, or it's 2.1 seconds. The clip size is 7 and also the fire rate is 1.5. Moving on to the attack shotgun, guys. Remember, this can actually be changed uh, based on the playtest because it's currently in development. It says it has six bullets and reloads the whole clip at once. That's insane. It also has a reload time of 4.25 seconds or to 3.65 seconds, which is understandable because it has some similarity to the Thunder Shotgun, which actually uh, reloads two bullets at a time, which is insane. It says right here the fire rate is one, which is basically one uh, bullet at a time. The damage is 79, 84, 88, 93, and 97, which is kind of decent for attack shotgun if you look at it. And also the headshot, which is 119, 126, 132, 139 and 145, which again, these are all based on rarities as well. Leave all your thoughts down below what you guys actually think of these weapons. Bear in mind, guys, these can actually change once the season 
do launch. But for the latest info, guys, now suggests that Fortnite is playtesting the V29.00 update, which is the next season. Can't wait for it to actually come out, guys. It's actually going to be crazy. But meanwhile, they were playtesting this, guys. There were reports of Fortnite, or I believe it was Epic Games, under a siege of cyber attack from a hacking group, guys. Uh, this tweet from T5G actually explains what exactly happened. He says, uh, according to a hacking group, they have stolen 200 gigabytes of data from Epic Games and are holding it for ransom uh, with a deadline of March 4th. However, with this being the case, guys, Ashina basically said in another tweet, basically saying Epic Games has issued a statement regarding the alleged attack or alleged hack. They basically says investigating, but there's currently zero evidence that these claims are legit. The ransomware group has not confirmed Epic Games regarding this matter and has not responded to Epic Games message. These are some crazy stuff that's happening right now, guys, before the new season uh, is starting. There's so much stuff. There was also this tweet said by uh, Shina as well, basically saying that everything related to the Avatar, the Avatar Last Airbender collab, has been removed from the files completely. So I'm not really sure what, what that means. If all of the evidence are removed or maybe just some and they'll likely return in chapter five season two, it's really hard to say at this point. But guys, with chapter five season two, uh, it will start on March 8th, officially start on March 8th with zero delays as what Hypix uh, mentioned in a tweet a couple of days ago, guys, meaning that next season will begin officially on Friday, guys, next Friday, which is crazy. With that being said, fams, do go ahead and drop a like on today's video if you do enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notification to keep updated with all news and information, guys. And also, you know, join the Discord, or join the family down below. Code VYCG in the Atom Shop. Check out any of these brand new videos here on screen. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.